Hello and welcome to The Wellness Zone. I'm Mary Perry and today I'm here with Dr. Barry Sears. Dr. Sears, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you. It's always fun to talk about science. That's right. So today we're going to talk about aging and who doesn't want to age gracefully, but uh, you're going to tell us a bit about the difference between getting older and faster aging. So let's let's talk, we're going to dive a little bit into aging here. So let's first start with that. What's really the difference between us getting older versus aging faster? Well, getting older is what you call chronological age. It's what your, how many, it's your birthday. How many birthdays have you had? Now, biological age is quite different. It's really basically looking how fast are you aging from a biological standpoint. And what does that really mean? It means your growing inability to heal damage to the body. So as we get older, which is a chronological age, we want to basically dissociate chronological age from biological age. And that means we are able to heal from our injuries more effectively. And by doing so, yes, uh, you will basically live better as you get older. All right. So what causes aging? And I guess we're going to be talking about biological aging here, but what causes it? Well, I said earlier, it's really basically the inability to heal completely from damage to the body. And what controls that? Your metabolism. And so really the key to aging successfully, that is basically aging at a biological rate slower than your chronological age, is making sure your metabolism is working at peak efficiency. Now, what does that mean? It means you're in the zone. Okay. And that's, that's hence, you know, where the whole concept came 40 years ago. How can we use diet as a powerful tool, a powerful genetic tool, to basically allow us to age at a slower rate by maximizing our metabolism? Right. So how would you know if your metabolism is promoting you to age faster? Well, uh, the best way is the blood. The blood will give you an insight years before you see the physical signs of aging and say, the sooner I see my blood moving out of that target zone, the more I can take action to bring it back, to really do a course correction, to basically now make sure my metabolism is working to allow me to heal from damage most effectively. Now, what is that blood test? That blood test is known as HOMA IR. It's a blood test developed whole, uh, back in about the mid 1980s. And what it looks at is what is called insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance, you say, well, that has to do with blood sugar. No, it's actually a catch all term for your metabolism is simply not working very efficiently. So what happens when you have a car and it's not working very efficiently? You bring it into the shop. <laughs> it ages faster. It says it isn't working. Say, no, because you didn't take care of it. You, because you really have to basically, this is how, why we have to look at our metabolism and our diet as a powerful, incredibly powerful drug to basically they can either rev up and if, make our metabolism more efficient or basically make it far less efficient and we age at a faster rate. So were you essentially saying that if we can keep insulin resistance in a desirable range, we'll slow down the aging process? Well, actually, we want to eliminate insulin resistance. Okay. And that means you're basically if you eliminate, it says your metabolism is working at peak efficiency. Now, how many Americans have basically no insulin resistance? I'm assuming very few. <laughs> you're correct. Less, less than 1%. Less than 1%. Uh, and as a consequence, why are our health care costs going up? Because we're aging biologically at a faster rate. So the key is saying, I want to eliminate insulin resistance. I want to make my metabolism my metabolism to be as efficient as possible. What drug do I use? There's no drug. But there is one proven technology, one proven technology that can do that. It's called calorie restriction. I say, well, that means I'm you know, not eating anything. Say, no, calorie restriction is defined as restricting calories without restricting nutrition. It means you're eating less calories, but you're maintaining high levels of nutrient intake. That means you're getting adequate levels of protein. You need protein to rebuild damaged tissue. It means you're getting uh, carbohydrates, not too much, but not too little. You're getting the right types of fat, primarily you know, omega-3 fatty acids, because they help repair the process. You're getting polyphenols. These are the chemicals that give fruits and vegetables their color. We often hear saying, eat more fruits and vegetables. They're correct. 
Now you ask why? Say, I don't know. Well, the answer is because they're colorful, they contain polyphenols. And if you get adequate levels of polyphenols, that also helps make the metabolism more efficient. So now, to go back to the answer, it's calorie restriction with all the essential nutrients in the appropriate balance day in and day out. You say, oh my God, this is so hard. My mind's exploding. It's, I can't just take a pill. Say, it doesn't work that way. But if you master, and what I master the rules of what I call metabolic engineering, you can do this day in and day out for the rest of your life. And what are the benefits? You dissociate biological aging from chronological aging. Spoiler alert, we're all going to die. Now, we want to basically die as healthy as possible. That means basically increasing our health span. And that's the goal. That's the goal not only of aging, it's the goal of medicine. And one thing I just want to mention, because you've talked about this before, is usually when you're restricting calories, you get hungry. But going back to what you said about this macronutrient balance, you can restrict calories, but do it where you have satiation if you have this balance to your macronutrient intake that you just discussed. And I think that's important to mention. And, and that's the key. The fact is, if you're restricting calories and being hungry, how long is that going to go on? About 45 minutes. Now, so you have to basically, the key to basically metabolic engineering is to be able to restrict calorie intake, make sure you have maximum nutrient intake, and you're never hungry. Right now, there's only two ways of doing that. One, basically taking injectable drug, drugs like Bulgovi or Ozempic and say, I'm not hungry. Well, you're right, you're not hungry, but you're also basically restricting protein too much because you aren't eating enough. What happens? You start losing lean body mass. Now, what's that? Well, it does include muscle. That's not good. It includes, you know, the heart. That's not good. It includes the kidney, the liver, the brain. Say, this is yeah. going to make me age faster. Say, you got it. So what you have to do is basically restrict calories, but also from the standpoint, make sure all those other check marks are being done. And now that becomes a second way. Metabolic engineering using food as a powerful drug that has no known side effects. But if you do it correctly, and it's not that hard, you can now basically have calorie restriction without hunger, without fatigue, without loss of lean body mass for a longer period of time. And who doesn't want that? So we can't change your chronological age in the zone, but biologically we can change your aging through following metabolic engineering. And what we're doing is now increasing your health span. So it's not saying I want to live longer. So I want to live healthier. And so basically, uh, is there some drug for there? No, but there is a dietary way. Diet is far more complex than drugs because metabolism is far more complex. And yet our diet can control our metabolism. They say, well, that means, yeah, I, I get it. a slow metabolism means I'm getting fat. Saying that's partially true. That's why you gain weight. Your metabolism is not very efficient. But your metabolism also controls your immune system. It controls how the body heals. It controls inflammation, turning it on, turning it off. It basically controls everything that's important in your life. Very complex, Dr. Sears. But, uh, but thank you for enlightening us on biological aging. I think that's where all of us desire to be, to have the most quality to our years, right? <laughs> Not only that, but again, we had to say, we, say, do we have the science to support it? Mm -hmm. uh, until recently, we really didn't, because basically how to live longer or better, that was really the, the sphere of bloggers or biohackers. Uh, I'm doing this, and I'm living longer. Saying, great for you, but basically, is there any science? It's taken us a long time, and really, uh, this has been about a $50 million study by the government. It's called the Caloria Study. Taking people and saying, I want you to restrict your calories of, without hunger or fatigue. And of, and to make sure, I'm going to pay you five thousand dollars for you to do the study. I say, well, count. I, I get free food and five thousand dollars. Count me in. Uh, so we have now, for the first time, real human data, not rats, not basically of you know of you know bacteria, but humans. And what they found, if you could just restrict your calories by ten percent for a two year period you could slow down the rate of aging. And these were in people who were normal weight. They were not obese. 
They had no doubt. They had no chronic disease, but in a two year period, they could show that their rate of aging had slowed down. Now, this means though, you have to do this for the rest of your life. And so the secret is basically finding the right combination, the right combination of protein, carbohydrate, and fat that can allow you to basically rev up your metabolism, but never be hungry. That's the holy grail of diet. Well, you've just shed so much light on stuff that most people think is in a pill or something you apply topically. So thanks so much, Dr. Sears. This was uh, really enlightening on biological aging and what we can do to age successfully and gracefully. So thanks for your time today. As they say, live longer, live better. That's right. (laughs) Thanks again, Dr. Sears. (laughs) 